fun. And I'm so excited to be able to say this right now. Happy Halloween in June. I can't even believe I'm saying that right now. It just seems like the light of 2020 right now is this, or maybe the darkness. I don't know. <laughs> Whichever one works for you right now. And if you've never been here before for Halloween in June, oh, you're in for a treat. So Halloween in June, basically, it marks the beginning of Halloween decor hunting here on my channel. So basically today and from here on out, I'm gonna be going out and looking for Halloween decor and showing y'all who is putting stuff out and who's not yet and the collections, what they look like. So before we hop in the car and go Halloween decor hunting, first I'm gonna mention today's sponsor. And today's sponsor, if you've been here for a while, you know this is my favorite. Today's sponsor is Shudder, which is a streaming service for horror movies, suspense, thrillers, all of the spooky vibes. Basically, it's the one thing that got me through quarantine or lockdown or whatever we're calling it. So with Shudder, you can have unlimited access to all sorts of spooky content for $5.99 a month or $56.99 a year. And right now, you can get 30 days for free if you go to www.shudder.com and use promo code JADE, that's J-A-D-E. And Shudder is super easy to stream. You can use your iOS or Android phones. You can also use Google Chromecast, Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Xbox One, and then I personally use my Apple TV. And if you're wondering like, okay, horror movies, suspense, I like that kind of stuff, but what kind of horror movies? Like what's on there? So there's anything from blockbuster hits to cult classics to documentaries. Or if you're like me and you love campy 80s horror or whatever it is that you like. Maybe it's possession movies. Maybe you like slasher films. Uh, they have all of the above. Shudder also has their own exclusives like Creep Show, One Cut of the Dead, Tigers Are Not Afraid. And some of my favorites on Shudder if you're looking for any recommendations. Uh, my husband and I just a couple weeks ago watched Blood Machines, which was like a whole sensory experience. Music, visuals, like a whole aesthetic. It was honestly really fresh and unique. And if you like dark aesthetic or like dark music, I highly recommend Blood Machines. I thought it was really good. Also Cursed Films, which is a docu-series about uh, basically like haunted sets or like stories on the sets of different horror films. Also a couple of other Shutter exclusives I really liked. I liked Horror Noir. I also really liked Revenge. That was really good. Uh, Terrified was, I thought was really scary. Uh, Z, just watched that uh, a couple weeks ago and I liked that. Uh, Daniel Isn't Real is another one that my husband and I watched during lockdown or quarantine or whatnot. Um, Summer of 84 is really good. So those are just a couple of my favorites that are Shutter exclusives that you can't really find anywhere else. So yeah, if you are into horror and or suspense and or thrillers and you've been looking for a streaming service that's basically just all, like you just wanna cut to the chase. You're like, where's the horror? This is the service. If you haven't tried it yet, you gotta try it. Uh, you can try it free once again for 30 days if you go to www.shutter.com and enter promo code Jade. I'll have the link down in the description box for you too. You do have to go to the website to get the promo code and then from there you can access through your Android or iOS or however you're watching your Apple TV or your Roku or whatever you're using to stream Shutter. But you gotta try it, it's amazing. All right, so now it is time to get into the goods. If you're ready to go Halloween decor hunting, let's do it, let's go. Legs up. You ready, Mr. Skeleton? That smile. Okay. Woo! It's time, it's time. What is happening? I was born for this moment. All right, Mr. Skeleton, we're going. Let's do it. Okay. Turn this off. Turn that down. AC on, it is hot, we are sweating. It's Halloween in June and we're off. Let's try not to hit any children. All right, hey everyone. It is, oh, is it somebody's birthday? What does it say? Happy birthday, Zoe. Zoe, if you're out there, no. It is that time again. It is Halloween in June. We're back. Mr. Skeleton is with us. His head is going to be spinning per usual throughout this whole thing because it's all loose. I need to figure out how to tighten it. But we're all good. We're on the bumpy road of doom right now. It'll be over soon, no worries. I'm so excited. I know we might not find anything today. Actually, there's a really good chance we're not gonna find anything today, 
but we're still gonna go out Halloween decor hunting because it is June and at home starts putting their stuff out in June. I got my mask, I have my sanitizer, I have all my stuff, I'm gonna be extra cautious. I just really hope, honestly, with everything going on, with the state of the world how it is, I feel like we all could just use a little bit of Halloween energy right now. Um, just strapping Mr. Skeleton into the car brought me so much joy. I almost feel embarrassed about it, but I don't at all actually. Right now we're going at home and Dollar Tree is right here, but I already know they don't get their stuff in until after back to school. And last year their stuff was in boxes until basically October. This place is hopping. Coronavirus who? Ooh, slushies. See how this goes. It's kind of busy, which makes me nervous. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go in. Got my mask on. I'm ready to go. beverage it's like 500 degrees out it's like 90 that's hot enough for me not one fall thing was in that place not one orange floral situation nothing I did see a bunch of uh, where am I going a bunch of empty shelves and summer stuff on clearance so maybe they're just a couple of weeks behind on Halloween I didn't ask anyone. I maybe should have asked somebody, but I didn't want to be that person yet. Let me, I'll give it till, you know, at least the middle of the month, at least June 15th. Like it's still June, it's only June 12th. Anyways. Oh no, go, go, go. Oh, you know what sounds so good right now? And I say this every year, but a Baja Blast sounds phenomenal right now. I just, there's a Taco Bell right here. Couldn't have done it anyway. There's nowhere to go in. That's weird. Okay, well, we're gonna go back out Monday. This isn't over. Hey everyone, it is another. I, I, I every time I vlog, I want to be like, it's Vlogmas, but it's not Vlogmas. It's a whole other time of year. Uh, it is, I don't know, it's almost a week later. I forgot my water. Great. Anyway, I'm only going to one place and we're going back home. But anyways, we're back with Mr. Skeleton and we're going to at home to see if they put anything on the shelves yet. Anything at all. I don't know. I was going to go back on Monday, but I just didn't think in a couple of days they would have put out that much Halloween stuff or had any opportunity to. And I just have a good feeling about today. It is overcast. It's been raining on and off today and it's... 70 something degrees. I don't know why I have my AC on. It's not very hot out. It's a nice mild overcast day Just how I like it, but I'm hoping we see something in person. Oh also funny story So I don't think I even I don't think I said this in any of my videos because it may have been after Halloween but um my nie my brother sent me a, a video of my niece and I have this song like she was singing a song that she made up and I've had it stuck in my head all day <laughs> because it's like my anthem for 2020 slash coronavirus time. Anyways, it goes, Halloween store, Halloween store. Don't take away my Halloween store. Halloween store, woo. Halloween store, woo. Don't take away my Halloween store. My brother sent it to me. I think it was after the, all the Halloween stores were going away. And my niece wanted, she's three by the way. She loves going to the Halloween stores and seeing all the blow up things and the animatronics. It's her whole deal. And so last year after it was all over, my brother, like she was like, you know, I wanna go to the Halloween store this weekend. And my brother was like, I think they're done. I think they're, you know, going away. And then she, my brother caught her singing this song. 
and sent it to me and today I was thinking in the back of my mind, gosh, I really hope with the random surges of things going on right now and a second wave or whatever in my mind, I'm like, I just like thought, Halloween store, woo, Halloween store, woo. Don't take away my Halloween store, don't do it. I guess that just like spoke to me. Just like really don't want anyone to take away our Halloween time. No, no, don't take away my Halloween store, no. Is that a cart full of lettuce? Oh no. Okay, we're here. We're going in. We're doing it. I see skeletons. <sighs> it's moist under there. I'm parched. So if you're not familiar with how I do Halloween decor hunting, if you were, have not been around here hanging out, um, what I do is I go Halloween decor hunting, like I go in the store and I get footage of everything. So um, I, what I do is I get in my car and talk about what I saw, some of the things that caught my eye and I show everything. Like I show everything that I saw in the store as they talk about it. So hopefully that's cool with you. Some people like it that way. Some people don't. Some people like it live in store talking about it. The reason I do this is because with the music and the store, uh, it may flag it for copyright infringement or whatever. Um, but also this year, I think it works out. This whole plan works out because I'm wearing a mask in stores. So you really, between the mask and my crappy camera mic, you can't really hear what I'm saying. Anyway, so when I walked in, the first minute that I walked in, I saw an end cap with a skeleton, a bunch of little skeletons hanging from it. I see skeletons. Oh, I should have gotten some of those. I wanted to get one to hang on my rear view mirror, um, which note to self, add that to your Halloween decor wish list. That's what I'm gonna do, talking to my future self. So anyway, saw skeletons. First thing I saw on the end cap and I was like, it's here, it's here, it's here, I want a Baja Blast. So they haven't, they don't have the signs out yet because they're still putting a lot out. So it wasn't like a full display of Halloween, but there was a good amount out. So the first aisle I walked down had like there was like a red area, like a red and black theme, I think is kind of what it was. I don't know what they're gonna call it, but it was a lot of red and black colored things. So there were some signs and there was a, like a, a glass skull that lit up that was red and black. And then it had, what else did they have? Just some skulls and they had some bodice, what do you call those things? The bodice kind of statues that were kind of cool and they had some pumpkins and a couple other, like if I'm missing anything, then I'm missing it. But there were some really uh, pretty, you know, red and black pieces. It looks like one of their lines this year is gonna be a mid-century modern vibe because it had like some retro looking items. Some, like they had this like house that looks like a mid-century mid modern house. They had these like little spooky ghouls in there. Like they had like little Franken, like Bride of Frankenstein looking lady and like a devil lady, but they looked like pin up, you know what I mean, in this house. So I thought that was kind of a cool thing. Like I could see that being popular this year or like a thing to get because I thought it was kind of cute and I'd never really seen anything like it. They also had a, a retro looking sign that said, keep it spooky, I think is what it said. I could see that being popular as well this year for the people out there who love that kind of mid-century modern decor. I could see this being really good. They had some cute little signs that were kind of just like random thrown in there, like ghouls just want to have fun. And what was the other one? Which, something about a witch, I think. I don't know, they had a bunch of different signs that were kind of cute. Towards the end of the aisle, they once again brought back that kind of Game of Thrones, kind of medieval vibe where it has dragons and there was like a dragon claw holding a crystal ball and some dragon looking skeleton things. That reminded me a lot of last year, that what was in that line. So um, um, I didn't see any dishware at all. So I'm really excited to see what kind of dishware they put out this year because I was a huge fan of the black goblets, the black glass goblets they put out last year. So let's move on to the next aisle. What was the next aisle? I don't know. 
on the end caps, I mentioned the one that had the skeletons on it, but then there was another end cap that was being set up that had a couple of things on it. I think it had some candle, little tea light things. It had some cute signs on it. One of them was kind of this magical design of some sort. I don't know. And the other one like said like dream something. It was like a, or like palm reader or, it, I don't know. It said something on it and it was magical looking. But then I went down the next aisle and the next aisle had like on the one side, it had some really cute candles. Actually, they had this ghost candle that I had gotten from Home Goods, and it's like an LED kind of candle. It had a one that was like a stack of jack-o'-lanterns, really cool one that was this black candle with this uh, silver snake wrapped around it, which I feel like, did they have that last year? I don't know. But then they had, they had that, and they had a, can a giant sparkly candy corn, which you know, you know, I'm obsessed with candy corn. Oh, they had a big jack-o'-lantern, which I have one that I got from Target on clearance a couple years ago. I hit the jackpot. And they had those at, at home. And um, I kind of want to get another one for my front porch this year. But we'll see. Um, they also had these big spiders. They were like these spider, like wire looking spiders. I don't know if they were like candle holders or if they were just these wire looking spiders, they could have been. I wasn't really paying attention because I was so excited about what was happening. But they're like, the, they have these like big spidery legs. They had two different sizes. I kind of want those though. Like that's on my Halloween decor wish list. Not gonna lie, already put that on there. And then on that same aisle, there were just a lot of signs. I think it was mainly signs. I think I saw a gnome, like a spooky looking gnome. But I think mainly in that area was like the little stand-up signs, the ones like you'll put, you know, next to your sink or wherever, just like the little signs, decorative signs. And then they had this big wreath that also was on my Halloween decor wish list because I was super into it. But I also feel like I might be able to DIY this. So I'm thinking about maybe taking on a DIY. I don't know, it was kind of like branchy looking. It's kind of like spiky. And then that was paint, painted black or like a glittery black maybe. I think it was glittery black. And then it had snakes, like plastic snakes that were glued to it or like on it, however. So it was like a snake wreath. And I've seen a snake wreath on Pinterest before that I've thought about making with a bunch of rubber snakes. I don't know, let me know in the comments if we should take that on. Or you could just look it up on Pinterest and do it yourself. But I feel like it might be fun to maybe have some adult beverages and make a snake wreath. But anyway, so then, I, either way, I really like that wreath. And I don't even know what, what else was down that aisle. Like I said, didn't see any dishware. Oh, they had, once again, uh, you know, the oil slick look. Had a lot of that kind of stuff that, I think it was the Mystic Moon line that they did last year. Had a couple of those things that they had put out. So there was a, like a crystal ball, and then they had the unicorn head that was the oil slick. They brought that back. Um, also, they it looks like they're putting out a little, I don't know if it's a witch line or what kind of line it is, but I'm kind of into it. Actually, I'm really into it where they had these pictures that were just of like, it was like a toad, and then there was one of, what was it? What was the other one? Oh no, snake? Was it a snake? Um, but they were just like black and white prints um, that were framed. And I feel like maybe I could do a DIY on that too, but I don't know. I have an itch somewhere and I can't find it. Don't you hate when that happens? But anyways, that wall decor with the toad and the snake, I actually just like that for everyday decor. So I'm, which this is my time of year to shop for everyday decor. So I was definitely feeling that. They also had a couple other signs. There was another sign I really liked. And now like it's not coming to me. It's not sparking in my memory. But it was kind of a black long sign. I don't even know what it said. Um, but they had a lot of cool wall decor regardless. And there's still so much room to be filled down these aisles. Like there was so much blank space. So I'm just, if this is already what's coming out, I'm so excited for what's to come. I also went down the aisle that has some of the like things that hang from your ceiling. Brought back the Nightmare Before Christmas, like life size, or I guess it's not life size, but you know what I mean, like big things that hang from the ceiling or hang from anywhere or whatever you wanna do with them. So they had Jack Skellington, they had Sally, they had Zero again this year. They had a couple of other things like that, which I'm sure they'll bring more of that stuff out. They always have a lot of things, dangly, spooky things, um, different creatures and stuff like that. 
Um, and then their yard signs were cute, but I didn't see anything that I thought was that new and different. Didn't see any outdoor rugs yet. Looking forward to that as well. I got an outdoor rug, was it last year from at home or the year before? The uh, jack-o'-lantern one that I love so much. I didn't see any outdoor rugs out yet. Oh, also I forgot to mention, they had again those, those Christmas trees, you know, the ceramic vintage looking Christmas trees that have the little bulbs that light up. Uh, they brought back the Halloween one this year. I don't think they had it at home last. I think I saw one at Michael's last year is where I saw it, but they had one at, at home this year. So if you missed out on that last year and you were wanting to get one, at home has it this year. Also, I almost forgot. I saw jack-o'-lanterns towards the end. Uh, there was like a whole little area that they were starting to put out jack-o'-lanterns. And I really want to get some jack-o'-lanterns this year because... I, I didn't get any last year. I held out until clearance time at Target because that's what I do every year and I usually get some jack-o'-lanterns and they were completely wiped out basically by the time I got to Target last year. And so I was super bummed out, but this year I'm gonna get some jack-o'-lanterns. So they had two really cool ones. They kind of had a vintage vibe to them. So once again, if you're into that kind of throwback, retro, vintage vibe um, kind of feel, then they have the, the jack-o'-lanterns kind of look like that. I, I don't know. I'm just excited to see any kind of Halloween decor. I am pumped up. I am hyped. I've been talking. I feel like I just talked 500 miles a minute, but I don't even care because I'm so excited. It is Halloween time. Forget about summer. I'm going to go back on Monday. I'm going to go back Monday or Tuesday and go back one more time and we're going to go through and see if they added anything else but I'll see ya when I see ya. Hey everyone, so it's a new day. And um, let me just say, I forgot my memory card for my vlogging camera. So we're using my phone today, so we'll see how this goes. The sound, I, I get weird because the sound is off. Anyways, we're gonna go one more time to at home today to see if they have any more Halloween decor. They put anything else out in the last couple of days and we're gonna go check it out. This is the last time we're gonna go for now, but of course we're gonna keep Halloween decor hunting. I mean, who are we kidding? I also wanna run into Dollar Tree really quick and see if they have anything because one of y'all said that you work at Dollar Tree and that you guys got some floral and some costumes in. Did that person just stop at a green light? So I'm gonna go into Dollar Tree really quick and see if they have anything. My guess, I mean, it, it could be possible. If one of y'all works there and they have it, I believe you. I just don't know if my area one is on that level yet. But we can stop in because it's right by at home. And then I can get some Sour Patch watermelons and I need to get some cleaning gloves. What, is this person okay? Oh, there's no one here today. Cool, even better. I'm so excited because I've been seeing some of you guys have been sending me pictures of what you're getting me over D or not getting me. I wish you were getting me. You're getting yourselves <laughs> um, and at, at home and um, I get all excited because I love looking and seeing what you guys pick out and like what your style is and stuff. Right, so, so there was nothing new, not one new thing at, at home on the shelves. Uh, like it was, it was like four days ago I was there and there's not one new thing. So everything that I saw last time is still there. So I didn't do a whole montage because it's the same stuff. So I'm gonna go into Dollar Tree really quick and we're gonna see if they have anything Halloween, which would be so cool. I'm not gonna get my hopes up mask back on oh god oh, okay. oh it's good Ooh. got my sour patch watermelons and oh I'm gonna go Oh shoot, I don't want to go this way. What? 
We're gonna be able to go. Go do go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh man. All right, I'm back. I had a snack, I had some chips, and I had to give my dog her medication because she has a UTI. Actually, that's what I did earlier today. Is I, she just peed all over me. I had to bring in a sample of her urine <laughs> earlier today. That's why when I got on in the car, like when I, I'm just so flustered today, but when I got on the camera in the car, I wasn't pulling out of my driveway because I had already been out at a run a few places and um, that was one of them. And we found out she has a UTI. So she's on antibiotics, which haven't kicked in yet because she just tinkled all over the front of me. But we're going to just sit with it because, <laughs> because I was gonna look really quick and see if Grandin Road had anything, uh, any new Halloween stuff out yet. And we're just gonna, we're gonna see. Seasonal, Halloween Haven. And we're gonna see if they have anything new and exciting. So far, let's see, shop all Halloween decor. Let's go to new. Nope, new is not an option, just recommended. Okay, all this kind of stuff, I still want this. I didn't get that last year, that magic ball thing or crystal ball. Um, looks like a lot of the same stuff, which by the way, I put these on my wall last year and took them off and it ripped off my paint. I still need to paint my wall. It's been like a whole year now, uh, but looks like a lot of the same stuff, nothing new. But they're still Halloween, so it counts. But just nothing, nothing new that I'm seeing quite yet. All right, so nothing new with Grandin Road. And honestly, I don't see the dog in. I feel like, I've said this before, with COVID, um, I feel like Halloween's gonna be a little bit late this year. Maybe not, because it's still really early. It's, I mean, some of you I know are out there like, girl, it's June. This is just too early in general, which is never me. So I'm glad that we got a little something, just a little something in June. And I'll be out shopping, don't worry. I'll be going out. Actually, my cousin is coming in town next week. Maybe we'll go together. And also, we're going, we're, okay, so we're going to a wedding and we're staying at a hotel that's apparently haunted and apparently on the haunted floor. And so maybe I'll bring my equipment and we'll do a whole thing. But I, it's to be determined because I don't know for sure if we're even gonna have time to do any sort of investigation or what that's going to entail because we're only staying one night. So, but uh, at least just bring my K2 meter and just like have that there and just do a little thing. Um, but anyways, regardless, I'm gonna let you guys go because there's nothing else to talk about. But we did get one solid day of Halloween decor, so I'm not mad at it. Uh, hopefully at home will fill up soon so I can show you everything that's out. I'm really excited to see what else they have because so far I'm really liking it and I at least want to go pick up some of the jack-o'-lanterns because every year people sell out so quickly. So um, I'm gonna go grab me some probably, I don't know, in the next week or so. So anyways, I will be out and about just scoping it out, seeing what's out there and keeping you guys posted and trying to figure out who's getting stuff out and who's not. So, so far at home, if you have one in your area, is, is stocking up. Let me know in the comments if you've seen any Halloween decor out there. Also, don't forget you can try Shutter free for 30 days if you go to www.shutter.com and enter promo code Jade, that's J-A-D-E. And you can watch all the spooky movies for free for a whole month. And yeah, I'm just, I'm, I might go do that right now. Just watch some scary movies. Um, also, let me know down in the comments if you wanna see some sort of video of like my top picks on Shudder or just top scary movies or whatnot. Um, because I'd be happy to do something like that because I am a horror nerd. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween in June. And I'm so excited, it's our time of year. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.